So, we had seen that in the previous class, that the discussion was how to arrive at the meaning of the Mahavakyam. Mute you all. Yeah. <clears throat> and uh, there was an example of the Nilotapal, the blue lotus. And two methods we had discussed. One is Samsargaha. Samsarga Artha, that is the non-separation of the adjective from the noun. The non-separatability of the adjective from the noun, that was one way of looking at it. And the other one is Vishisht Artha Bodha, where we said that the in the blue lotus, the blue means the blue substance and lotus means the lotus substance. And therefore, whichever way you look at it, ultimately you will arrive at the meaning of the lotus as the same. There is, it is a blue lotus. There is an ikyam between the blue and the lotus. And the person who is objecting says that, why can you not use this method for tattva? See, why do you have to have a three-step method? So, we saw the argument against that, where we said that if you... You know, if you look at the Tattvamasi example, the Tat word, Tatpada, it reveals uh, Chaitanyam with superior virtues, superior gunas, and the Tvampada reveals the consciousness of Chaitanyam with inferior gunas. And what was the problem? If you eliminate the mutual differences, you will find that the Jivatma and the Paramatma will get associated with each other, meaning that the inferior attributes of Jivatma will be associated intimately with the Paramatma, that we call Samsargaha, which means since the in attributes of the Jivatma become associated with Paramatma, the Jivatma being a Samsari, Paramatma will also become a Samsari, or the alternative you know, uh, explanation was that it will be the other way around. The superior attributes of Paramatma will become associated with Jivatma intimately and therefore he will also become Ishvara. And we, either way you, you understand, we said that if you take such a meaning, this is against all the Shruti Vakyam, against all Pramanam, because Jivatma is definitely not omniscient. And this we know through Pratyaksha Pramanam. And Shastra Pramanam tells us that Ishwara is not Samsari. So the meaning is not tenable at all. So you cannot stop in two stages. And then we said that the author will quote from a text called Panchadashi, which is by a very senior disciple of Shankara called Vidyaranya. Panchadashi is written by Vidyaranya. Now we will go to the next topic where the quotation is there. So this is topic 158, <clears throat> we will chant Taduktam Taduktam Tam Sargo Va Vishishto Va Sam Sargo Va Vishishto Va Vakya Tho Natra Sammataha Vakya Tho Natra Sammataha Akhandai kara sattvena Akhandai kara sattvena Vakyartho vidushamataha Vyakyartho vidushamataha So this is a quotation that he gives from Panchadashi Bhavidyaranya, which is chapter 7, the 75th one, 7.75. So, the word taduktam means 
this has already been taught. Now, here he is referring to Panchadashi by, by Vidyaranya Swami. But this actually appears in a text called Vakya Vritti, which is a commentary on Tattvamasi. The Vakya Vritti was written by Shankaracharya. It is the 38th verse of Vakya Vritti. It is the same verse which has been repeated by Vidyaranya in his text. Obviously, Vidyaranya is a disciple of Shankaracharya, so he has just quoted that. What does it mean? Samsargo va vishishto va. Whether you take the samsarga method of understanding the meaning or the vishishta method, the two methods we saw earlier. What is the vishishta method? Visheshana vishesha bhava sambandha. There, there is a dif the difference between the adjective and the, and the noun. The difference is not there. That is, just, that is sambandha. So, both you can take. You can take samsarga, you can take vishishta. This we discussed in great detail in a couple of verses earlier. He says, either way you take, that's why samsargova vishishtova, whichever way you take, vakyartho na atra sammataha. This meaning cannot be accepted atra. Atra here means in the case of this mahavakyam. This meaning cannot be accepted. Why? Why can you not accept the meaning? Akhanda ekara satvena. So, ekarasam is homogeneity because of the absolute oneness. And ekarasam means not having uh, three types of differences. So, we have seen this earlier. Sajatiya bheda, vijatiya bheda and swagata bheda. These three types of differences are not there between what and what? Between the swam and tatpadas. So, do you remember what these Bhedas are? Sajatiya, Vijatiya and Swagata? It is important to recall at this point of time. Who can say? What is Sajatiya difference? Sajatiya Bhedas. Actually, you can see by the name it's written. Sajatiya. That can be called as Munun, you are breaking up. Same jati. Same no. Sajatiya jati. means differences in so the, same the same jati itself. Like for class. example, you have the same class. For example, you take, the, you take the class of tree. The jati is tree. You can have a coconut tree. You can have a mango tree. But that difference is sajatiya, belonging to the same class. Or you can have vijatiya, so a tree and maybe, you know, <clears throat> a car or a house, two different classes of entities. And swagata bhedaha, differences in the same object within the class. For example, you take a tree and then you have branches and you have leaves and, and you have a trunk, all this is swagata bhedaha. So, three types of different differences are there. And akhanda ekarasa means these differences will not exist between the thumb and the tatpadas. Vakyartho vidusha mataha. This is the meaning according to vidusham, the jnanis. And therefore, akhanda ekarasa vakyartha is a definition of mahavakya based on this sloka. So, this is the one definition of mahavakya. And then he gives an example. So, we look at topic 159, we will chant. Atra Gangayam Atra Gangayam Gosha Prativasati Iti Vakyavad Jahal Lakshana Pi Nasangachate Is there a problem with my internet? I can try to make it. Are you able to hear me? Yeah, they Now we can assert. Breaking. Okay, just let me try to get the mobile data on.
ओके इज दिस बेटर जी सर ओके यस वी कैन हियर राइट सो अत्र गंगायां घोषः अत्र गंगायां घोषः प्रतिवसति इति वाक्यवदलक्षणापीवदलक्षणापीक्षते दि पूर्व पक्षी हि से इन देश ऑफ दि ब्लू लोटस you can arrive at the meaning through two stages those two stages are not sufficient in the case of mahavakyam and to drive home this point he enters into a discussion of <coughs> lakshya lakshana bhava sambandha so that where we use the bhagatyaga method to arrive at the lakshyatham the implied meaning so he says gangayam ghoshah prativasati iti vakyavat इति वाक्यवत मीन्स इन दैट सेंटेंस सो गंगायाम घोष प्रतिवती घोष इज इज अ विलेज ऑफ काउहर्ड्स सो गंगायाम घोष प्रतिवती मीन्स देर इज अ विलेज ऑन द रिवर गंगा सो व्हाट इज द कॉन्ट्रडिक्शन हियर देयर कैन नॉट व्हाट इज द वाक्यार्थम हियर द वर्ड गंगा इज अ फ्लोइंग रिवर राइट एंड देर इफ यू take the vakyartham of this particular sentence it means there is a village on the flowing waters of the river ganga this meaning is not tenable right because you can't build a village on the waters and therefore we have to totally give up this vakyartham it is not partially giving giving up the entire meaning of the flowing river has to be given up uh, therefore you take the lakshyartham what is the lakshyartham the implied meaning of ganga over here it it means the banks of the river okay so you have to actually understand this meaning as there is a village of cowherds on the banks of the river ganga and this is called jahati lakshana also called jahal lakshana jahati meaning completely giving up and therefore this primary meaning the vachyartham of ganga which is the flowing waters has to be prime has to be given up completely and another meaning a secondary meaning of the banks of the river has to be taken so he is saying in this sentence that is the way you have to understand for it to be rational sentence and so atra but in the mahavakyam atra jahal lakshanam na sangachate no such jahal lakshanam can be applied for the mahavakyam unlike in the example gangayam ghoshah unlike in the example of the river on, the village on the river ganga so that statement is atra jalak jahal lakshanam na sangachate this jahati lakshanam cannot be applied to understand the meaning of the mahavakyam unlike in the example that you have given gangayam ghoshah why <clears throat> there you will see in the next topic which we will read tatra tu tatra tu ganga ghoshayo ho ganga ghoshayo ho aadhar aadheya bhav aadhar aadheya bhav lakshanasya vakyarthasya अशेषतो अशेषत परत्यज्य तत्संबंधी तीरलक्षणाय जहल्लक्षण संगछते 
So he explains his uh, statement in the last topic. So he says, Tatratu. In that example of the Ganga village, Ganga Ghoshayoho, between Ganga and the river and the village. Ganga Ghoshayoho, Ganga is a river, Ghosha is a village. Between the river and the village, what is the Sambandha? What is the relationship? Adhara Adheya Bhava Lakshanasya. There is a relationship in the form of the Adharam and Adheya. The supporter and the supported. The locus and the located. Okay. So it is indicating that there is a supporting relationship. One is the supporter, one is the supported. Which is the supporter? Supporter is the river and the supported is the village. So he says in that example, there is this particular relationship of locus and located or supporter and supported. But Vakyarthasya Asheshato Virudhatvat such a meaning is totally Asheshataha completely Virudhatvat contradictory completely logically you know unfeasible because in the case of the river and the village Obviously, the flowing waters of the river cannot be the locus, the support for the village. And therefore, he says, Vakyartham Asheshataha Parityajya. And the primary meaning has to be Asheshataha, completely Parityajya, completely renounced, completely dropped. And then what has to be done? Tat Sambandhi, that which is connected to the river, which is what? Tira Lakshanaya. Tiram, tiram means the river bank. So Tira Lakshanaya, the river bank has to be taken as the meaning. And therefore, Jahal Lakshana Yuktatva Tangachati. Hence, here the Jahal Lakshana, that particular meaning arrived at by Jahal Lakshanam, is Yuktaha, is logical and appropriate. The primary meaning has to be given up totally. Okay. Now, totally is important. Because that is the difference between Jahati Lakshana and Bhagatyaga Lakshana. I hope those of you who have done TTC, ATTC, they know that. What is the difference between Jahati Lakshana and Bhagatyaga Lakshana? Anybody? No ATT, ATTC people over here? In one case, total give up uh, to be given up, and in case of Bhagatyaga, one portion only to be given, not exactly. the total. Exactly. So, in case of Jahati Laksharam, the entire meaning is dropped. In this case, the entire meaning is the Ganga, the flowing waters. It has to be dropped. Because if you give it up only partially, then it becomes Bhagatyaga Lakshana. Bhagatyaga Lakshana, as the name implies, only one part is dropped. Okay. So, this is completely. Therefore, he says, completely is given up. Jahal Lakshara Sangachate Parityajya. Okay. Then what? Then topic number 161. We will chant. Atratu. Atratu. Paroksha Aparoksha Chaitanya Ekatva Lakshanasya. Vakya Thasya Bhagamatre Virodhat Vakya Thasya Bhagamatre Virodhat Bhagantaram Apiparityajya Bhagantaramitya Anya Lakshana Ayuktatvat Anya Lakshana Jahal Lakshana and Sangha Chate Jahal Lakshana So what he is bringing out here is that in the case of the Ganga and, and the village example, the meaning of the Ganga, which is the river, the flowing waters, has to be given up totally because the contradiction is complete. You cannot have a village built on flowing waters because of Flowing waters cannot be a support for anything. and But in the case of Paramatma and Jivatma, the contradiction is only partial. 
right? Because Paramatma and Jivatma have two components. What are they? The body, the three bodies, and consciousness. So the contradiction is in the bodies only, because in the case of Paramatma, the universe is the body, infinite body. In the case of Jivatma, the three individual bodies are the body. So the contradiction exists only in the bodies, only in the matter portion, but not in the consciousness. And therefore, in the case of Paramatma and Jivatma, unlike in the case of the river and the village, the contradiction is only in the attributes, not in the consciousness, por consciousness portion, so it is only partial. In the other component which is consciousness, there is no contradiction at all. And therefore, since that is so, the whole primary meaning cannot be dropped. So you cannot apply Jahal Lakshana. Why? Because contradictory portions only have to be dropped. And the contradiction is only partial. So Jahal Lakshana cannot be applied here. And this is what he says. Atratu, in the case of the Mahavakyam, Paroksha Aparoksha Chaitanya Ekatva Lakshanasya. Because the Paramatma and Jivatma Chaitanyam, the consciousness, are one, one and the same, there is no contradiction in the consciousness part of the two entities. Therefore, Bhagamatre Virodhat. There is only a partial contribution, con contradiction. Where is that? At the attributes level. And therefore, he says, Bhagantaram Abhi Parityaja. If you give up the Chaitanyam part also, if you give up the consciousness part also, in addition to the anatma part, in addition to the three bodies part, what happens? You have to bring in a new meaning. <clears throat> because when something is given up totally, you have to bring in a new meaning. And therefore, if you are giving up both the parts, that is the matter part and the consciousness part, then a new meaning has to be brought in, which he says, Vakyarthasya Anya Lakshanaya, completely new meaning has to be brought in, which is Ayuktatvat. It's not logical in the case of the Mahavakyam because the contradiction is only partial. Therefore, Jahal Lakshana na Sanghachate. This Jahati Lakshana cannot be applied here. So he's proving that you cannot apply Jahal Lakshana. You have to apply only Bhaga Tyaga Lakshana. Okay. Topic number 162. Nacha Ganga Padam. Swartha Parityagena Swartha Parityagena Tira Padartham Yatha Tira Padartham Yatha Lakshayati Tatha Lakshayati Tatha Tat Padam Tvam Padam Va Swartha Parityagena Swartha Parityagena Twampadartham Tatpadartham Va Twampadartham Tatpadartham Va Lakshayatu Ataha Lakshayatu Ataha Kuto jahal lakshana na sangha chata iti vachyam. Kuto jahal lakshana na sangha chata iti vachyam. So this is, this particular topic is an objection by the Puro Pakshi, by the opponent. So what does he say? This is in, in, in response to the earlier, earlier topic. So he says, there is another method of interpretation. <clears throat> and what is that? Ganga Padam, in the word Ganga, Padam means word, the word Ganga, Ganga Padam, in the word Ganga, Swartha Parityagena, if you give up the primary meaning of the word, which is river, it can take, take on the Tira Padhartham, it can take on the meaning of the Tiram, the river bank, right? That we also accept, that is the way to do it. And therefore, in the Mahavakyam, you should apply the same principle. What is he saying here? I have given up the, real, the primary meaning of the word river. And I have, by giving it up, I have taken the meaning of the word river bank. And therefore, why cannot I do this in the Mahavakyam? Therefore, Tatha, 
तत्पदम स्वार्थ परित्यागेन स्वार्थ मीन स्व अर्थ ओन मीनिंग प्राइमरी मीनिंग तो तत्पदम स्व अर्थ परित्यागेन यू शुड गिव अप द प्राइमरी मीनिंग ऑफ तत्पदम वॉट इज द प्राइमरी मीनिंग ऑफ तत्पदम वाच्यार्थम तत्पदम इज वॉट रिवर बैंक सो वॉट इज दी ऑब्जेक्टिंग बिकॉज वी हेव सेट दैट यू के नॉट अप्लाय जहर लक्षण यू शुड अप्लाय ओनली भाग त्याग लक्षण सो इज थिंग नो नो लेट इज अप्लाय जहर लक्षण ओनली जहर लक्षण इज वॉट गिविंग अप दर प्राइमरी मीनिंग So he says, "Tatpadam swartha parityagi na." Let us give up the entire primary meaning of the uh, of the uh, word tatpadam, which is Ishvara. And when I give up the primary meaning, which is Paramatma, Ishvara, I can automatically take the secondary meaning of Jivat Jivatma, because the primary meaning is Paramatma. And let me then give up that meaning and take the meaning of Jivatma. And similarly, he says. Swam padam swartha parityagi na in swam padam the primary meaning should be given up. What is the primary meaning of swam padam? Jivatma. So in, give up the primary meaning of Jivatma and take on the implied meaning, the secondary meaning of Paramatma. Then what will happen? So he is saying that you give up, you take the word tat, you give up the primary meaning of Paramatma, and then now tat will re represent Jivatma. Similarly, in Tvam Padam, you give up the primary meaning of Jivatma, and now when you use Tvam Padam, it will represent Paramatma. What will happen? Tvam Padartham, Tat Padartham, Va Lakshayatu. Tvam Padam will imply Tat Padam, and Tat Padam will imply Tvam Padam. And therefore, what happens? You get Jivatma Paramatma Aikyam by applying Jahal Lakshana. by doing this ingenious method of replacing the meanings i am getting the oneness anyway he says ata kuto ho jahal lakshana na sangacha iti why then do you say that jahal lakshana is not correct so this is a very ingenious suggestion so we say na cha vachyam your suggestion is not tenable why it's not tenable that will be given in the next padam so we read topic 163 अश्रवणेन लक्षणया तत्प्रती श्रूयमाण तदर्थ प्रतीत लक्षणया पुनः अन्यतर अन्यतर पदार्थ प्रतीति अपेक्ष अभाव so sadananda is pointing out the mistake the error in the suggestion the error in the approach of the purva pakshi so what did purva pakshi say he said that paramatma will be revealed by tvam pada after applying jah lakshana and similarly after applying jah lakshana tat pada will reveal jivatma what is the problem You should remember the basic rule which we talked about for the application of lakshyaartha. What is the basic rule for the application of lakshyaartha? If bachartha are not clear, I mean, 
only when vachartha does only not vachartha. fit only yes. then you can apply lakshartha so what is the problem here here tatan tamar clear both of them are clear. at least the vachartha of tvam is very clear right vachartha of tvam is jivatma and therefore why you should not be taking lakshartha at all so he says tatra in the case of the example given by you which is the ganga example tira pada ashravanena tira pada means the word tiram ashravanam is not heard in the sentence so you, you remember that you know this is of the olden days when the there is only shravanam going on so we can say the word tiram is not heard in the sentence means that the word tiram is not mentioned in this in this sentence is so tirapada ashravanena because the river bank is not mentioned at all in the sentence the ganga bank is not mentioned at all in the sentence or revealed by any word in that particular sentence what is the sentence there is the village of cowherds on the ganga the tiram the river bank is not mentioned at all is not revealed by any word in the sentence and that is why the vakyartham vachyartham of the sentence cannot be taken because vachyartham does not refer to the bank and since the vachyartham does not reveal the river bank tadartha apratitao the meaning of the word tiram is not found at all in the sentence since the word itself is not there and therefore lakshanaya so implication tat pratiti apeksha mapi there is a need to arrive at the word tiram lakshanaya through lakshyartha so he is saying that the vachyartham in that particular sentence does not in any way reveal the presence of the river bank and that is why because of the contradiction where you say that the village cannot be on the flowing waters there is a need to take lakshyartham river bank is anyway not mentioned and that is why jahal lakshanam is being applied the entire flowing river meaning has to be dropped but in the case of mahavakyam tat tvam padayoho ruyamanatvena both tat and tvam padas are directly available in the mahavakyam tatvamasi and tad artha pratitao the meanings of the word tat and tvam are also directly available what is the meaning of the word tat it is paramatma meaning of the word tam tvam is paramatma and therefore lakshanaya punaha what is the need to again use lakshyartha anyatra padena anyatra padartha pratiti apeksha abhavat you need not arrive at the meaning of the two words other meaning which other meaning the meaning which has been suggested by the puropakshi what is the meaning he replaced the paramatma with jivatma and jivatma with paramatma he saying because the words vachyartham is directly indicating these particular entities so remember the word pada and the word padartha pada is the word padartha is the object towards which the word points for example the word is glass right pada is the glass but the padartha is this particular entity this particular object which is the glass so he says tad artha pratitao the meanings of the words are directly available the padartham is directly available in that particular sentence in tatvamasi therefore there is no no need to use lakshyartham and replace the word with jivatma and paramatma apeksha abhava there is no need at all okay so even if you do this there is one more defect you know this is a very simple reason why you should not do that but there is one more defect which of course adananda does not mention what is that even if you give in to the suggestion of the purva pakshi and you arrive at the paramatma jivatma aikyam in the way that he has suggested which is how replacing the meaning of tat padam by as jivatma 
replacing the meaning of Tvam Padam as Paramatma and you say, okay, fine, we have arrived at the Paramatma Jivatma Aikyam. There is still a contradiction. That contradiction will remain. What is the contradiction? Just because you have changed the entities, the contradiction doesn't go away. What is that? The, the equation is Tat is equal to Tvam. Even if you replace Tat as Jivatma and Tvam as Paramatma, Will the contradiction go away? First of all, what is the contradiction? The matter part. The contradiction here is just switched around. Correct. Yeah. So even if you switch them around, the that matter part remains, right? The jiva gunas and the paramatma gunas still remain. And jiva guna is jiva bodies are far inferior to param paramatma body. And therefore, the contradiction does not go away. And therefore, you cannot, cannot use Jahal Lakshana. That is the second reason, which of course, Sadhananda doesn't give. But we, have, we can supply from our own understanding of the equation. Okay. Now, we go to topic 164. This is another suggestion that the Purabhakshi gives. So, we will read. Atra Shono Dhavatiti so Puro Bhakshi gives doesn't give up as yet. He says, fine. Okay, so you have you are telling me that I cannot use Jahal Lakshana. Fine. I don't want to use Jahal Lakshana. But there is still no need for you to use Bhagatyaga Lakshana because there is one more Lakshana available, right? You have Jahal, you have Ajahal also. Jahati Lakshana is there, Ajahati Lakshana is also there. So don't use Bhagatyaga Lakshana, you use Ajahati Lakshana, Ajahal Lakshana. In Aj Ajahal Lakshana, what happens? That nothing is dropped. See, the difference is in Bhagatyaga Lakshana, one part is dropped. In the case of Jahati Lakshana, the entire thing is dropped and a new meaning is taken. In the case of Ajahal Lakshana, what happens is nothing is dropped and yet an additional meaning is taken. Okay, that is the th difference in the three, uh, three prakriyas. In Bhagatyaga Lakshana, one part is dropped. That is what we use for Paramatma Jivatma Aikyam by dropping the matter part and retaining only the consciousness part. We don't add anything, we just drop part of it. In the Jahati Lakshanam, like in the Ganga example, we drop the whole primary meaning, the Vachyatham, and we replace it completely with a new meaning, the Lakshyatham. There is a third thing, which is Ajal Lakshana, Ajahal Lakshana, also called Ajati Lakshana, where nothing is dropped, but an additional meaning is added on to make the sentence logical. And he gives Atra. In this Mahavakyam, Ajahal Lakshanam, Lakshana Apina Sambhavati. In the Mahavakyam, that Ajahal Lakshana cannot be used. Vakyavat, like in the sentence. Which sentence? He gives a sentence. Shono Dhavati Iti. So, Shona is a horse. It is a color. Okay. Which is basically a red color. So, Shona Dhavati Iti. The red runs. Okay. Now, you have to add over here Shona Ashwa. What is happening is the Shono is not being dropped. Okay. But for it to make sense, because Shono Dhavati means the red color runs, which doesn't make any sense. In fact, in the context of the horse, we should we can think of Shono as brown because red horses are rare, right? So we can think of Shono as brown. So Shono Dhavati iti means the brown color runs. Dhavati is running. And that doesn't make sense. So, what do you do? You apply Vachyartham. When you apply Vachyartham, it means that the color is running. Right? That doesn't fit. It doesn't make sense because a color is an adjective. Right? It's, a, it's an attribute. And it cannot exist independently of the noun which it qualifies. You understand? This brown must be qualifying something else. And how do you add... Find out what qualifies you. Look at the verb runs. So something is running. And therefore, 
Remember the attribute always depends upon the substance, the vastu, and therefore the vastu you have to add here. So we can say na, horse or a dog or whatever, but it's a the horse is running. So we take it for horse. So we say shono ashvaha dhavati. The brown horse runs. What is the context? A race horse, a race course where many, many horses are running. And I am standing there and I am saying the brown one is running. The brown is running. Right. So what does, what, what do I mean? I mean the brown horse is running. Just the brown is running makes no sense because colors don't run. And therefore, I have to add the vastu, the substance which that adjective brown qualifies, which in this case is ashvaha, a horse. What have I done? I have retained shonaha brown. I did not drop the word brown. Ajalla, ajahal lakshana. And I added a new meaning, a new word, horse. And thus, api, he says, refer to the fact that earlier, he said, jahal lakshana did not apply. He says, this is ajahal lakshana. This also does not apply. So he says, ajahal lakshana also is not appropriate for mahavakyam. Because you cannot add a new word over there. Then how? He will explain. So, Topic number 165. Before that, have you understood the difference between the three lakshanas? Ajati, Jhati and Bhagatyaga. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes, sir. Please remember that because there may be discussions in future also among the laksh among these three prakriyas. So we read topic number 165. Tatra Shona Gunagamana. Tatra Lakshanasya Vaka Vakyarthasya Lakshanasya Vakyarthasya Virudhatva Tat Aparityagena Tat Tadviro the Parihara Samavat. Tadviro the Parihara Samavat. Ajahal Lakshana Samavati. So he says Tatra, in that case of, in that example of the running brown color. Tatra Shona Guna Gamana. In the case of the example of the running brown, what is the Lakshana? You have to take the Lakshanartham because you have to take the Lakshyartham because a Vakyarthasa Virudhatvat. Because the Vachyartham, the primary meaning, is contradicting, is contradictory. The word Virudhatvat means contradictory. And contradictory to what? Contradictory to your own experience, your own anubhavam. Because the primary meaning is what? Color, the guna. And gunas cannot run. Gunas do not exist independently of the object. And therefore, he says, you cannot take that vachyartham. What should you do? Tat aparityagena. Without dropping the brown color, the brown guna, you should take tad ashrayaha, the support of the guna. Right? What he is saying is that guna cannot exist without an ashraya, without a support. What is support? Ashva adi lakshanaya. The support is the ashva, the form of the horse. Right? Therefore, you should not drop the guna brown, but you should, as a lakshyartham, you should supply the word horse and tad viroda parihara sambhavat. The contradiction in the meaning is thus sorted out. And therefore, Ajahal Lakshana Sambhavati, this method is very much applicable in the case of this example, the brown running. But can this Ajahal Lakshana be applied to Mahavakyam? Obviously not. Why? He says in the next topic, which we will read. Topic number 166. Atratu. 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 Parokshatva, aparokshatva adi. 
विशिष्ट चैतन्य एकत्वस्य वाक्या विरुद्धत्वात्परीगेन तत्सबंधिनो यचि विरोधपरिहार असंभवात् अजहलक्षण संभवती तो अत्र तो अनलाइक दि अर्लियर एक्सापल ऑफ वाट ऑफ दि ब्रउन हॉर्स ऑफ ब्रउन कलर रनिंग अत्र इन द केस ऑफ द महावाक्यम what will happen if you apply ajahal lakshana in the case of mahavakyam the the vachyartham remember when you apply ajahal lakshana what are you doing the primary meaning is being retained right so the vachyartham has to be retained for example when you applied the ajahal lakshana to the brown running you did not drop the brown the vachyartham of brown was retained and therefore you apply the same in this mahavakya what happens the vachyartham of both the padas tat and tvam are retained what is the vachyartham of these padas the sharira trayam and prapancha trayam in the case of tvam pada it is the three bodies in the case of tat pada it is the three universes so the just like you retained the vachyartham of brown if you apply ajahal lakshana you will retain the vachyartham of tatantvam which is three individual bodies and the prapancha trayam three universes which means all the inferior attributes of the jiva and the superior attributes of the paramatma will be retained and if you retain this even if you add something what are you going to add over here consciousness right because you are retaining only the the attributes now you have to add consciousness even if you add consciousness these two cannot be equated why because inferior attributes will continue and superior attributes will continue aikyam cannot be achieved so this is ajahal lakshan right so he says parokshatva aparokshatva aadi vishishta chaitanya ekatvasya the oneness of parokshatva aparokshatva jivatma and paramatma chaitanyam parokshatva chaitanyam and aparokshatva chaitanyam is jivatma chaitanyam and paramatma chaitanyam vishishta qualified with superior and inferior attributes that is the three bodies and the three universes vakyarthasya virudhatvat because of the contradictions arising out of retaining the three bodies and three universes there is a contradiction in the vachyartham of the two words and therefore tat aparityagena without dropping these contradictory attributes without dropping the three bodies and three universes tat sambandhino yasya kasyachit arthasya if you add a new meaning connected with tat sambandhi no these two which are jivatma and paramatma even if lakshitatve api even if the new meaning is a implied meaning lakshyartha meaning secondary meaning what will happen tad virodha parihara asambhavat the contradiction cannot be resolved because the contradictory attributes will continue the both three bodies and universal universal bodies they will continue and therefore ajahal lakshana na sambhavati iti hence in the mahavakyam the ajahal lakshana cannot be applied 
very neatly, very beautifully, is dismissing the application of Jahati Lakshana and Ajahati Lakshana, leaving you only with Bhaga Tyaga Lakshana as the right way to understand the Mahavakyam. We will do one more topic before we close. One, 167. Nachatat padam tvam padam va. Nachatat padam tvam padam va. Swartha viruddha amsha parityagena. Swartha viruddha amsha parityagena. Amshantara sahitam. Amshantara sahitam. Tvam padartham tat padartham va. Tvam padartham tat padartham va. Lakshayatu ataha. Lakshayatu ataha. Katham prakarantarena bhagalakshangi karanam. Katham prakarantarena bhagalakshangi karanam. Katham Prakanta Rena Bhaga Lakshanangi Karanam Katham Katham Prakaraka Bhaga Lakshanangi Karanam Itivachyam Itivachyam So Puru Bhakshi, he doesn't give up. So he gives one more suggestion. He says, okay. Tatpadam Tvampadam Va Swartha Viruddha Amsha Parityagena let us take the primary meaning of both Tatpadam and Tvampadam, which is the Chaitanya. You know, he says, you are saying that we cannot, we cannot drop the Vachyartham. The, if you drop the Vachyartham, it's a contradiction. Okay. Let us take the Swartha, the primary meaning of Tatpadam and Tvampadam as consciousness, as Chaitanya. What is the argument? He says, first take Tatpadam. Then what should you do? Viruddha Amsha Parityagena. Drop the contradictory part of the Tatpadam, which is what? The three universes. So you take Tatpadam and drop the three universes. What will remain? Consciousness. What will this reveal? He says, he says, Tvampadam, which is Jivatma with Chaitanyam. Then you take Tvampadam, and you drop the contradictory part, Viruddha Amsa Parityagena, you drop the Sharira Trayam, individual bodies, what will it reveal? Tat Padam Paramatma with Chaitanyam. Therefore, he is saying that Tvam Padam reveals the consciousness associated with Ishvara. Tat Padam reveals the consciousness associated with Jivatma. And therefore, Amshantara Sahitam, the non-contradictory other part, which is consciousness, Tvampadhartam, Jivatma with Chaitanyam, Tatpadhartam, Paramatma with Chaitanyam, Valakshayatu, it reveals. So it reveals the Aikyam, Ataha. Therefore, such an interpretation is possible. How many steps has he used? Only two steps. So, Katham Prakarantarena Bhaga Lakshana Agi Karanam. Why are you considering using the interpretation of Bhaga Tyaga Lakshana? So, Angi Karanam means adopting or accepting. <coughs> so, author says, Iti Navachyam. This is not a feasible solution. Why? That we will see in the next class. Any questions? Okay, I can understand that immediately it will not come, but I would suggest that you go over these classes again and again, and you should be having questions which you can put in the group and we can answer. Om Purnamada Purnamidam Purnat Purnamuchate Purnasya Purnamada Purnam Eva Vasishyate Om Shanti 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 Om Tat Sat Om Namaskar Om Tat Sat Om Tat Sat Om Namaskar Thank you. Thank you.